Hey there! Today we are going to look at a ThinkPad. Now this is not a laptop. This is a ThinkPad model 730T and it is an early IBM tablet. And this, this comes a little bit before the onslaught of laptop type ThinkPads that of course today are now Lenovo's. Now, uh, back in the sort of early 90s, I think it was 92 or 93, IBM started fooling around with a, a, uh, a concept of a tablet. And, of course, it wasn't really an original concept. I'm sure there were people back in the, in the 50s or 60s thinking, hey, wouldn't it be cool to have this, this, this slate that you can just write on that's actually a computer and you do all sorts of fun stuff? I'm sure there were concepts back then. But... Like a lot of people, IBM decides to, let's finally explore this idea. And in the early 90s, they did come up with a machine. It was the IBM 2521, which uh, are really scarce today. I've only ever seen pictures of one. And, uh, well, it was an early pen, pen device tablet. Looks somewhat similar to this. This is a 2524 slightly later no wait 2524 or 20 yeah 2524 let's look at that let's get the, the tag up here there we go 2524 machine type incidentally i have to wonder if there was someone in the uh, ibm uh numbering department for, for better or worse that thought gee this thing's like a card. Let's give it a 2500 series number. Because in the old System 360 uh, days, the 2500 series were for the punched card machines. So I have to wonder, card? Tablet? Eh? Who knows? Wild theory. Anyway, so they came up with this 730T, which was a subsequent model of the original uh, 2521 ThinkPad. And uh, um, this is a should be a 486SX device, I believe. Originally, they ran uh, PenPoint, which was a pen-based operating system. And, uh, well, I'd like to find, find that. I'll get to that in a little bit. But uh, there are some videos on the, uh, the 730T ThinkPad on, on YouTube, and go ahead and watch them, because they show people that have actually installed Windows uh, on, these, on these machines. Um, mine has nothing on it. It does power up, but it's kind of brain dead. Uh, so it did come in this big case, which was part of a CE kit contained a printer and uh, a place for a modem and stuff like that. I'd like to find more about what that what this kit was uh, sort of made for. It was a maintenance kit of some sort. I don't know why or what it goes with or what. So uh, in any case, it had, it had this guy in there. So hey, it's pretty cool. Now these other videos, yeah, go ahead and watch them. They'll show, you know, someone uh, you know, a couple of people, you know, fooling around with this on with Windows with their pen. Now that's that's one thing. Mine is pretty rough. It led a rough life. It is missing <laughs> several of the covers and things like that. We got a couple of batteries missing. I do have a battery. There's space for two, which is interesting. Uh, this this actually does slide into the case and hooks up to get external power. So the batteries are dead, but I can power this thing up, but just it doesn't do anything. This is kind of the docking connector to, uh, well, to the dock, I guess. It's the case. Now, whether or not this had uh, an actual real standalone dock, I don't know. Got a little place for your AC adapter. In the back, you can see it's, once again, it's missing a, a cover here. We see some PCM CIA slots, but also there's the, this weird uh, dynamic RAM slot there. It's not quite PCM CIA. It's a little different. Uh, I don't know if you can see down there, but the pitch of the pins is slightly different from PCM CIA. This is where you 
stick in the uh, tablet and there's a little eject thing or the the uh, pointer uh, I don't have it it's long gone I believe this is a Wacom type digitizer so I should be able to get a a, uh, a stylus for this this is going to be a project to to put together find all the parts and another thing if you look at this you see oh it's, it's got that funny weird disease it's got this weird rubber rubberized coating that uh, IBM liked on some of their early ThinkPads and I think that original PS2 uh, laptop the what's the N51 or something like that had this 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 rubberized coating and a lot of them exhibit this problem where it must be corrosion of the uh, metal underneath. I don't know what the metal is, titanium or aluminum, I don't know. But you see this, this awful bubbling and stuff like that. I don't know, this is a pretty rough unit, so, well, it is what it is. I'd like to find a better one. Uh, okay, now on these videos, uh, like I said, I can't power this thing up, or it doesn't do anything, it's brain dead, but go watch those other videos. However, those other videos don't show the inside, and I would like to pop this open to see what's inside. So let's do that. I have actually already loosened it up a bit. So here yeah, you can see the uh, the uh, other side of the of the front panel. And well, okay, we've got the not much to see there. A few LEDs. The LCD. Open up a little further. Move some stuff out of the way there. Get this all centered up. Okay, I have not actually been inside this, so this is this is an adventure. We'll find out. But there's a screw here. I wonder what that's for. I wonder if that butts up against a chip for heat sinking, because we have this aluminum shielding here. Now hopefully this will all go smoothly. Okay. Are you going to pick up? Not quite. Okay, let's see if we want to come up. Okay, we almost got it. there we go so here it is let's bring it a little closer so you can see what's going on in here looks like well I don't know what that bump was for maybe it maybe it uh, bumps up against that to get a good shield but uh, I don't know fairly typical construction um, now, IBM apparently did not make this. They farmed it out because if you look at the tag on the back, you'll notice it says manufactured for international business machines, not by international business machines. That's a subtle little thing to check on the label to see if IBM actually made it or if they farmed it out. So you can see there's not much room in this at all. You know, where my thumb is, these strangely miscolored, I don't know what that is. Oh, I guess that's maybe the base uh, base color of the plastic. Um, strangely colored. These two spots are where the battery sits. Uh, there's not much room for, for anything else. If you want a hard disk, looks like you got to use the PCMCIA hard disk. But, uh, I'll just take a quick look. Not much room to spare. A pretty typical construction. So there. This, I wonder what that is. Bring it closer. Buzzer? It might be a, a little speaker or something like that. I do not know. And 
Now the other question is, where's the processor? It must be on the other side, perhaps? Huh. Ooh, it looks like we've had uh, a bit of a engineering change there. I see a bit of green wire wrap wire. Naughty, naughty. You see that uh, kind of winding its way in the upper corner there and right above these two two large flat pack chips. Huh. It looks like they didn't clean the board too well either after they uh, did the... Uh, did the engineering changes all right well let me put this swing this back i don't really want to break anything even though like i said this 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 unit is rough oh wait we got to put this on um this unit is pretty rough so it may only end up being a parts unit i don't know let's see this went uh Something like that. This may end up being just a parts unit uh, until I can hopefully find another one. I have seen seen the oh I'm gotta get these things in one. I have seen these things in the CE case um, as well. You know I may not reassemble this on camera because hey that's not too interesting is it? But yeah I'd like to find my bit, missing bits and pieces for this this machine 2524 a stylus would be great um a copy of the penpoint operating system would be cool because yeah i could put windows on it i suppose but you know hey that's no fun over here uh so if any of you guys have one of these and or know where i could find the parts uh yeah it's it looks like i need to get a pcmcia hard disk a that, that goofy uh, dynamic RAM card that I showed with the sort of looks like PCM CIA. So it looks like I need to find some stuff for this particular unit. And also, if anyone knows what this particular, a particular CE box was, was used for, in fact, let me just put it up here. Of course it's big and heavy. Yeah, we got an AC plug. This is the dock. Got some batteries, got a printer. Looks like you can put a diskette drive there and a keyboard. So if you didn't want to use your, uh, uh, your stylus. And then this goes to a modem on the lid. And I think you can actually flip down the lid for documentation, which of course I did not get any of. So, uh, interesting device, interesting device. All right, let me put this back. And get the star of the show back here. And I'm not actually going to completely button this guy up here. Let's put it like this. All right, well, there you have it. The IBM ThinkPad 730T, early tablet, early tablet. Uh, yeah, if you guys have anything to add about this interesting device, let me know. Leave it in the comments. All right, well, if you liked the, the video, leave a like. Share it around. I could always use some shares. Remember, we got to build up the subscriber base. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm on, oh, I am on Twitter. Um, Uniservo is the, the handle there. And uh, by all means, leave a comment. Okay, see you guys later. Bye now.